Hi, Alan Stratton from Aswood Turns. Just in time for the Christmas ornament challenge, I'm going to make this, well, it looks like a simple ornament, but actually is a fairly interesting little ornament with all the little rings around it, kind of like a little atom, or, yeah, it'd have to be an atom, not a molecule. So, let's make this ornament for the Christmas ornament challenge. To prepare for this ornament, I took a block of walnut and made a random slice with a bandsaw, glued in a slice of oak, did it again, and did it again. The main issues are how to cut without cutting off a finger, and how to glue up a block of wood made slippery by glue and that does not have parallel faces. Then mount the block between centers and rough it down to a cylinder. Here's where my octagon cheat sheet comes in handy. For a given diameter, I can mark the first corner, the middle, second corner, and the end diameters, then cut down to the octagon. I'm not aiming for perfection since the process is almost foolproof and self-correcting. I'm now rounding off the octagon to a sphere, then mark a diameter line. Now for the refinement. I'm switching to a cup faceplate. The tailstock has a rubber stopper. I've rotated the spindle 90 degrees to the original turning axis. Now to use shear scraping to refine the sphere. With that running pretty close, I'm marking a new diameter before rotating another 90 degrees and continuing to shear scrape. With this ball, I mistakenly undercut the original tailstock side, so now I have some more work to do. I'm having to do an extra mark and rotate before finishing. Not a big deal. If necessary, I would repeat until perfect. Finally, instead of marking a new diameter, I parted the sphere in half. I wanted to hollow it to make it lighter for hanging on a tree. Now the hard part, how to hollow a hemisphere. I tried to hot melt glue one half to a faceplate, but after a few cuts, it was obvious it was not going to work. It was working loose. Then I remembered my wooden chuck jaws. After mounting the jaws, I took a couple of cuts to make the jaws uniform, then cut a groove on the inside of the jaws. This was perfect for holding the edge of the hemisphere. Now I can quickly hollow both hemispheres as if they were tiny bowls. Then join them back together. I glued one to a piece of oak, let it dry, sanded the wood back to the edge, then glued it to the other hemisphere. I did not cut out the center of the slice of oak as the ornament was already pretty light. Instead of shear scraping, I went directly to sanding, starting with 80 grit and moving up to 320 grit. The 80 grit took care of the last ridges from the slice of oak. Then finish the ball with shellac friction polish. Using a drill bit as a mandrel, I made a hanger by twisting copper wire around the bit and then around itself. This I glued to the ball with CA glue. After buffing, my simple little ornament is finished. The rings add a little character. Now that I've worked out one kink, I've proved it to myself I can make this simple style ornament as a lightweight ornament. Now I'll add it to the Christmas ornament challenge. When will your ornament be ready? There's still time. We'll see you again next week for another wood turning video. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and tell your friends. Always wear your full face shield. Goggles are not enough. Until next week, this is Alan Stratton from As Wood Turns. Let's keep on turning.